Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey, Lindmar! It's Friday, February 21st, 2020. It's National Caregiver's Day. Our top story, we only have four more weeks left till spring break. But first, we have to get through another weekend. LMTV Sleezer Squared is here with the LMTV Weekend Report. The big event on campus is tonight's FBLA Fun Night. It starts at 6 in the main gym. Admission is $5, and drinks and snacks will be provided. There will be basketball, board games, and other activities available. Proceeds from tonight's fun night will go to the March of Dimes. Also this weekend, the wrestlers are at the state meet in Des Moines. Six of our guys advanced to the quarterfinals yesterday. Another is competing in the consolation round today. Meanwhile, the girls' basketball team competes in regional play at Southeast Polk tomorrow at 5. Large group speech will present their one-act play WIT tomorrow afternoon at the All-State Festival at Iowa State. The honor band will perform at the University of Iowa. And the show choirs are in Hastings, Minnesota. Good luck to all teams. We've got four new movies for you. Brahms, The Boy 2. Unaware of the terrifying history of the Heelshire Mansion, a young family moves into a guest house on the estate where their young son soon makes an unsettling new friend, an eerily lifelike doll he calls Brahms. The Call of the Wild. The story of Buck, a big-hearted dog whose life is turned upside down when he is suddenly uprooted from his California home and transplanted to the exotic wilds of the Alaskan Yukon during the gold rush of the 1890s. Fantastic Fungi. This documentary is a descriptive time-lapse journey about the magical, mysterious, and medicinal world of fungi and their power to heal. And Practical Jokers, the movie. The story of a humiliating high school mishap from 1992 that sends the Jokers on the road, competing in hidden camera challenges for the chance to turn back the clock. That's your weekend. Make it a good one. Sam and Alec, back to you. Thanks, guys. EDD Presentation Day is Monday at 8 a.m. in the Four Corners. Come hear EDD presentations and vote on your favorite designs. There will be a limited supply of candy for all voters. Seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements and forgot to pick them up, stop by the 1112 office and see Honey Sue. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Hey, Linmar, are you looking for an easy way to make your college application stand out as well as make a difference in your community? Well then, Quartz Hours are perfect for you. Just obtain 160 service hours throughout your high school career and you'll get a corridor during graduation. Obtaining Quartz Hours could not be simpler. You can get them by volunteering at school-sponsored events as well as joining clubs and organizations such as LMTV. If you have any questions or want to turn your Quartz Hours in, see Mrs. Closer. Welcome back. Food February continues. The third block or fifth period class that collects the most money will win a pizza party. And that's the latest news from LMTV at this hour. I'm Dale with Linmar Sports. The All-State Awards are out for swimming and Linmar is well represented. Nick Cavanaugh was named to the All-Academic State Team. Aiden Carsonson is on the All-State First Team in the 100 Backstroke. Nick Cavanaugh was named to the second team in the 100 Butterfly and 100 Backstroke. Cooper Callahan made the second team in the 500 freestyle. Receiving honorable mention were Cooper Callahan in the 200 freestyle and Aiden Carsonson in the 200 individual medley. Congratulations, boys swimming. On the scoreboard, varsity and sophomore boys basketball beat Wash. The varsity game final was 59 to 49, and the sophomore game final was 63 to 41. In other sports news, guys who plan on playing tennis this season, time is running out. If you haven't already, the coaches need you to register online as soon as possible. If you aren't sure you signed up, please stop in to see Mr. Becker. Junior and senior guys, sign up now for the Soda Try and Stop Powder Buff Volleyball Tournament, Friday, March 6th at 6.30 in the main gym. Get a team of six to eight guys together and fill out an entry form and turn it into the athletic office by next Friday. Hurry, only the first 10 teams will play. There will be a Linmar Cheer Tryout meeting Wednesday, February 26th at 5.30 in the Lower Commons. Use door 10. Perspective applicants and a parent should attend. That's sports. Alec and Sam, back to you. Thanks, Gail. In news from the counselors, a rep from Northwest Missouri State will be in the College and Career Center Monday morning at 9. The Linmar Foundation scholarship deadline has been extended. They are now due Tuesday to the 11-12 office. Look through the scholarship list on your Naviance student account today, and if you have any questions, please see your counselor. You can't get any scholarships if you do not apply. Now here's Colin with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, individual speech participants, have you practiced? See your coach today to make sure you are prepared and know all the rules for your event. There are some changes. 
And don't forget to sign up for the bus list. See Mrs. Fry. Are you worried about the cost of prom dresses, shoes, and other accessories? Z102.9 is sponsoring Gown Town on Saturday, February 29th from noon to 3 at the Kirkwood Lynn County Regional Center in Hiawatha. Stop by the Student Assistance Office to learn more. That's Arts and Clubs. Alec and Sam, back to you. Thanks, Colin. For lunch downstairs, it's a beef taco. The other line will offer the soup and sandwich bar. Upstairs in the food court for juniors and seniors only, it's Pizza Crunchers. Your LMTD forecast calls for sunny skies today with a high of 37. Tomorrow looks sunny as well with a high of 44. And Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 46. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Limar website, follow us on Twitter, or check us out on YouTube. Join us again on Monday. And as always, have a great weekend, Linmar.